What's good, everybody? It is your boy Five Boys Deke, and we are back. Took a little bit of a break because, well, the Broncos did not make the postseason, so Solomon decided, look, let's go home, visit some family, take a little bit of a break, and just rest. Rest after a tough, grueling season that just did not go the way we expected it to. The rest of the NFL season played out like this. Rob Simpson won Defensive Player of the Year for the Detroit Lions. Michael Vick, MVP. Atlanta Falcons quarterback Michael Vick is the MVP of the 2009 season. Kenny Wooden, Texans running back, is the Offensive Rookie of the Year. Clinton Portis has been named Offensive Player of the Year. Reginald Clark is the Defensive Rookie of the Year. And y'all, get ready to roll your eyes. Get ready to roll your eyes and want to punch the screen. The Eagles won the Super Bowl for the third straight season. Philadelphia has three-peated as Super Bowl champs. They beat the Patriots 35 to six. How annoying is that? How annoying is that? I mean, every season we have run into this Eagles team and they, they're good, right? Like they are legitimately good, but dang, Another Super Bowl for Donovan McNabb, Andy Reid and them? We got to take these boys down. Somebody got to do it. Somebody got to do it. Meanwhile, Solomon reclaimed his title as Madden Bowl champ. Took on some guy, I have no idea, but he was controlling Washington in the Madden Bowl. And what I did not know is that when you play the Madden Bowl, it goes with the roster that's currently in superstar mode. So Solomon and all them was right there. And guess what Solomon did, since everybody want to talk about Solomon as a return man. He took a kick to the crib. Solomon Daniels cribbed a kickoff. It does not count in the stats or nothing because it was the Madden Bowl. So technically, it wasn't Solomon. It was Solomon controlling the Broncos and controlling himself took the kick to the crib. Whatever. Solomon Daniels has the ability to take a kickoff all the way. It has not happened in a sanctioned game yet. It has not happened in a sanctioned game yet. Big deal, okay? It's going to happen in a game, but just know it's possible. Today, we are back in Hawaii for the Pro Bowl. Solomon Daniels has earned his way to the Pro Bowl for the second straight year. This time he is with the AFC. So just like we did last season, let's go over the rosters for both the AFC and the NFC. Peyton Manning is the quarterback of the AFC, followed by Tom Brady and Carson Palmer. LaDainian Tomlinson, Willis McGahee, Ronnie Brown will be the running backs. Marcus Madison is the starting fullback for the AFC. Dante Stallworth, Reggie Wayne, Chad Ochocinco, Lervanius Coles, and Lee Evans, I think there's one more, Braylon Edwards are the wide receivers for the American Football Conference. Antonio Gates, Dallas Clark, and Ben Trope are the tight ends. And there are so many Broncos on this team. Like, the offensive line, mostly Broncos. Lepsis, that's a Bronco. Hamilton, that's a Bronco. You got Mark Reed, I think Mark Reed is our center, that's a Bronco. Chris Chester's not. Derek Duff, I think that's a Bronco. Like, there are multiple Broncos here on this offensive line. So the Broncos aren't talentless. Before y'all get into the whole, well, what happened? Y'all was seven and one. We just ran into some bad luck. We became a bad team, but we weren't a talentless team. We got a lot of pro bowlers here. On defense, Chris Kelsey, left defensive end. Robert Gathers at right defensive end, followed by Helody Nada. Corey Simon and Sam Adams are defensive tackle, followed by Raheem Brock. Terrell Suggs at left outside linebacker. Larry Foote, middle linebacker. Right outside linebacker is Adelius Thomas, followed by Jason Taylor, followed by Keith Bullock, who is really, really good for the Tennessee Titans. Champ Bailey, wearing number 40 today. Wow, okay, had to wear number 40. 
uh, Terrence McGee, Dominique Foxworth, who gets to wear his number, apparently. He's, you know, of course, with the Broncos. He's here. And then Marlon Jackson, who I believe is with the Colts. I don't know if he's with the Colts in this game, but he did play for the Colts in real life. And Solomon Daniels gets to wear his number. We'll get to him in just a second. Bob Sanders, he will start at free safety. So Solomon Daniels will not play until the second half as number 47. Wow, that's really odd. Number 47, Bob Sanders will start. Um, and Solomon Daniels, who gets to wear his number, will come in in the second half. And then Dante Hitner, that's what they started calling him. Dante Hitner is your strong safety. Troy Palomalu will play in the second half. So everybody that wanted to see Palomalu and Solomon Daniels on the same team, second half of this game, you'll see Palomalu and Daniels team up in the secondary. We'll just go over the NFC offense. So Drew Brees, Donovan McNabb, Matt Hasselbeck at quarterback, Clinton Portis, Brian Westbrook, Chester Taylor at running back, Patrick Pass, who is with the Eagles, is at fullback, Deion Branch, Marcus Colston, Bernard Berrien, Plexico Burris, Reggie Brown, Demarius, yeah, Demetrius Williams, excuse me, Demetrius Williams is at receiver, Jeremy Shockey, Algie Crumpler, Greg Olson at tight end, and then you got these offensive linemen here, and I do not see any Niners. I don't see any Niners. So here we go. Pro Bowl, Solomon on special teams until he gets in in the second half. We are underway in Hawaii. Steve Smith, Solomon got shoved and a tackle. So we're not going to show every play. We're not going to, you know, go into it like it's a game that counts. We'll, we'll just focus on Solomon. But while we are showing this first offensive drive, or honestly just as the game will play on, um, until the second half, I just want to say thank you to every single person who has watched Solomon Daniels. The binge watchers. There are so many binge watchers. They're encouraged by the fact that this series is still going and it's going to continue to go. It's going to continue to go and it's going to continue to grow. The last video had over 400. Solomon's first pick six had over 400 views. That's what I'm talking about, man. I'm telling you, that's what I'm talking about. So, listen, Solomon Daniels really has main character energy these days. He's become like the main character of this channel. You guys are big fans of him. You guys are so supportive. You are encouraging um, everything. Everything anybody could want. So I really want to thank all of you. Um, the subscribers, the day ones, the binge watchers, the people who always comment and have something to say about a game. Thank you guys so, so much. This is why I do it. You guys are why I continue to do it, but also because I am having so much fun telling the Solomon Daniel story. I'm having so much fun doing so, and I really think Solomon's going to end up in the Hall of Fame. I mean, if, if the last two seasons don't say Hall of Fame to you, I don't know what to tell you, because that brother will absolutely make it into camp. The way he's been playing, he gonna make it into camp. Here's third and seven for the NFC at the AFC 24 yard line. Drew Brees is in the shotgun, he'll step back, he'll throw, it is caught, and it is not a touchdown, but down inside the five. So here's third and goal from inside the one for the NFC. Let's see what Drew Brees has here. They should just give it to Clinton Portis. That's what they should do. They do give it to Portis, and he scores. Right now, Drew Brees is the MVP. That's crazy. There you go, Solomon. Welcome to the Pro Bowl, baby. All right, it's halftime, and the AFC is getting clapped. It ain't looking good. All right, here we go. Second half of action. Solomon in the game at safety. Here's a give to Westbrook. So McNabb and Westbrook are the quarterback running back. So I know it's the Pro Bowl, but listen, this is a chance for Solomon to, to make a couple of statements here because you already know how he feels about the Eagles. No, no secret. Throwing, and it is caught. Brown, that's another eagle for a first down. 
is third and six for the NFC. And McNabb is on a draw, gets a first down and slides. There you go, Solomon. Throwing, caught, Brown, and Solomon drags him out of bounds. Touchdown! So we're into the fourth quarter, and it is a one possession game here in Hawaii. That's a good stop right there. We have got to get this ball back for, I believe, Carson Palmer, who is in at quarterback now. It was Brady, and Brady was kind of leading this comeback, but now it's going to be Palmer. And McNabb is taking off. Slides. Yep, it's a run. Got the stop. Got the stop. Two minute warning here in Hawaii and Tom Brady has told Carson Palmer to sit down. Said, I'm gonna finish this game out. I'm the one who led this comeback, sit down. Look, if the GOAT tells you he's got it, then let the GOAT, let the GOAT have it. If the GOAT said he's got it, then he's got it. Let's see if he really leads this, this uh, eight point drive here. That's what we need, we need eight points. I think the game will end in a tie. I don't think the Pro Bowl goes to overtime. Caught! Touchdown! Lee Evans! Wow. Here comes a two-point conversion. All right, now Tom Brady. I'm not surprised. It's Tom Brady, but dang. And the two-pointer is good. Doesn't matter if it's Super Bowl 51 or the Pro Bowl in 2009. Tom Brady's going to lead a comeback. 147 to go here in Hawaii, and McNabb is going to stay in the game. I see why it's so personal, because that was just the Super Bowl. It was McNabb against Brady in the Super Bowl, and McNabb won. No huddle. Second and 12 coming up. Eagles won that Super Bowl 35-6. to Stop playing. That's a first down. I think this is personal for Brady and McNabb. This sounds kind of personal if you ask me. McNabb's taking off. Yeah, this is this is a Super Bowl rematch in their minds. This is a rematch in their minds. Just with way better players. There you go. Throws quickly intercepted! He oh! and he fumbled! Alright, we got it back. Bro, Brady is throwing upfield, and it was caught for a first down deep in the NFC territory. Are you kidding me? Tom Brady is not playing around, bro. He don't care if it's the Pro Bowl. He going to get McNabb back for what he did in the Super Bowl, bro. He going to get it back in blood. Adam Vinatieri with Peyton Manning holding. After a Tom Brady-led drive, and the kick is good. 39 ticks left, and the AFC just led an epic comeback in the Pro Bowl. Epic comeback. Get that ball. Get that ball. Come here. Come here. 35 ticks on the clock. One timeout for the NFC. Here we go. McNabb. He'll throw. Caught Burris. And he started going backwards. Throws quickly. Caught Brown. Fourth down coming up. Here we go. And Champ Bailey is the player of the game? Really? They're going to give Champ Bailey the MVP? Throws quickly. It's caught on the bobble. Three seconds left. They're going to call timeout, aren't they? Tom Brady led that comeback, and McNabb is trying to finish it off. Ain't no way. It's picked off by Troy Palamalu, and this could be a pick six. It's not, but the game's over. AFC wins it. 27-24, a classic 
here in Hawaii. An absolute classic, and Tom Brady is ecstatic. He needed that one for his psyche. Needed it. So Solomon Daniels had four tackles. Champ Bailey is your Pro Bowl MVP. It should be Tom Brady. I don't know why they gave it to Champ Bailey. That is insane. It's insane. 348 total yards to the AFC. NFC had 344. I mean, you take a look at these splits. This is the exact type of Pro Bowl a football fan would want. NFC was dotting it up with Drew Brees. It looked like Drew Brees was going to be the MVP. Manning was leading field goal drives. I skipped all of that, but anyone number field goal drives. Brady comes in and is like, I got it. And the game flipped on its head when uh, that punt return, or that punt return was fumbled and recovered for a touchdown. I mean, that's, that's crazy. It's crazy. That, that was a classic Pro Bowl. And both teams had their, their moments, and, and I think a football fan should be satisfied with that. I would be. I am. I'm totally cool with that. AFC wins at 27-24. That is officially a wrap on season three of Solomon Daniels. Until season four, it is your boy Five Wars Deke. One love.